the cube was actually seen in the Loot Lake event. And this blue magical orb was above us the whole time. These are just some of the hidden secrets that were found in the latest Fortnite events that everybody missed. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Fortnite video for season 8 slash 9. I'm, I'm feeling season 9 right now. I feel this is season 9. There are multiple major secrets and hidden easter eggs in the two latest major events in Fortnite. Of course, these events are the Loot Lake event and the Volcano event that we've literally just had in the last couple of days. But this time we actually found out a lot more about the storyline, but this information was disguised in the backgrounds of this alternative dimension and of course in the Volcano event itself. In this video, we're going to look at all of these hidden secret easter eggs and expose them to see if we can uncover what was really going on in these Fortnite events. Guys, I haven't seen anybody else cover this, so I think I'm the first. So sit tight, because there's some pretty crazy stuff. It would seem that the cube actually made an appearance during the Loot Lake event. In fact, it made multiple appearances at multiple different times. The Loot Lake vault door opened and players were able to jump inside and they were transported to this alternative dimension which players are calling the in-between. This is a location we have visited before. Players will remember back in season 6 we found ourselves in this very dimension but this time there's a lot more hidden secrets going on that really explain what actually happened. Whilst players were casting their votes, the surroundings of this alternative dimension were actually moving and players did start to notice that these were square blocks moving up and down. These blocks could be seen surrounding the entire event in this alternative dimension and the fact that these are perfectly square blocks is a suggestion that this must have something to do with the cube. Players in fact now believe that these square blocks were actually the cube, but not just one, multiple cubes. We do know this is where the cube came from and obviously where the cube went back in season 6. This is the origin of the cube. So it makes sense that these square blocks that are slowly jutting up and down might actually be the cube or multiple cubes. This theory is supported by the fact that the ground in this in-between dimension is actually alive. Players who took the time to actually look at the ground, they would see that it's changing shape and texture, almost like it's breathing or living. Of course, this is something alien completely out of this world, but it is something we've seen before. Obviously, Kevin, the cube, was a flat surface constantly changing how it looked, with various symbols and colors appearing as it pulsed, almost like it was alive. The striking difference between these cubes is obviously the color and there is no easy way to explain this at the moment but it does seem obvious to players that this dimension, the home of the cube, is actually made of multiple cubes. And it is just possible that maybe one of these blocks somehow slipped out this dimension and found its way into our world. The cube actually appeared again. There was this goofy little secret easter egg that some players claim to have seen. Whilst the loot lake bunker was opening, a purple crate was actually dropped next to the vault. And multiple players had a hard time actually opening this crate. Not everybody on every server says that they saw this, but it was glowing purple, which these crates never do. Maybe this was just a cheeky little reference to Kevin the cube. Epic probably think it's a great joke, but hey, I mean, this could just be a crate. I don't know, but this purple light is not normal. Maybe a secret easter egg to Kevin the Cube. 
The next hidden secret takes us into the volcano event. Obviously, the volcano erupted in a spectacular way. We saw multiple rocks being launched into the air and dropping directly into some of our favorite OG locations like Retail Road and of course, Tilted Towers. As this crazy event was going on, all eyes were on the volcano and the destruction it was causing. But nobody noticed a hidden secret that was in front of all of us. Well, not quite in front, but above. After viewing this event in replay mode, players noticed that the massive purple orb that was in the Loot Lake dimension was actually floating above us all whilst this event was going on. This blue alien orb can be seen much like a UFO soaring above the event, so high in the sky that the ash from the volcano wasn't even reaching it. Of course, nobody noticed because we were so busy looking at the madness of this volcano. But it is a crazy sight to see this magical orb carefully floating like some kind of UFO. In fact, the whole shape of this orb does kind of look like a UFO. Maybe this is not the last time we're going to see this blue orb. Maybe this is some kind of UFO. This is something we have predicted because we believe season 9 is going to be about aliens and space. So it is very striking to see this as it does kind of resemble a UFO. Maybe aliens are really on their way. I guess only time will tell. Another hidden secret that a lot of players actually didn't know was that Polar Peak was hit by the second comet, completely smashing and cracking the iceberg. Many people were actually surprised to see this happen as it was completely unexpected. But what players don't know is that the iceberg is still cracking. In the next few days, this iceberg is expected to keep cracking in multiple places, leading players to believe that this might be the end of the iceberg. But what will happen to the ice castle that rests on top? Well, at the moment, we don't know. But if this whole iceberg is about to fall apart, maybe the Ice King's throne and his majestic castle is about to meet its demise. In this event, there were so many references to the cube and to things that might be coming in Season 9. These are just some of the hidden secrets that everybody seemed to miss. And I'm sure there's going to be more secrets and Easter eggs coming out in the next couple of days. Guys, with two days until Season 8 ends, we are about to witness the beginning of a new season. New storylines, new events, and I believe more destruction. Guys, there's still more crazy information that I want to share, so let's get into it. Guys, remember, if you do want to support this channel, make sure you use the support to create code on screen right now. All right, guys, let's get into it. Well, uh, <laughs> things ain't looking too good in our, in our Fortnite world, boys. Things ain't looking too healthy. These are the massive cracks that apparently people didn't notice. People kind of saw that the comet went over here, but a lot of people said that they didn't actually know it hit Polar Peak. Were you even at the event, bro? How did you not see? Yo, my condolences to Lachlan. I saw that. I saw his live stream where he ended up not seeing the event because it bugged out. That is tragic. I would have been in a worse state than he was if I if it bugged out on me. I tell you that much. My condolences to you. You deserve better. I heard this side that I'm going to now is about to start cracking as well. What is really going to happen here at polar peak i mean if this place cracks i don't know where this castle's gonna go oh oh chill i don't have the guns to deal with you bro well yesterday i didn't have time boy but today i got time Oh, and it's like that. Something that is worth talking about that I think people have kind of forgot is the volcano is still here. The, the volcano is still here. It's not going anywhere. The events that we just saw was to stop it happening again. I mean, seriously, think about it. It's not going anywhere. You're not going to just be able to remove a volcano. This thing is going to be here for the entire of season nine. And this, this might be a more common sight than we're expecting. Oh. One in the chamber. Oh, 
Come on, Moo Juice. Shout out to all the people that just chuck traps down and then hope you forget about them and walk into them. Why try and outskill someone where you can place a trap down, eh? You dig what I'm saying?